Hi guys, welcome back to my channel with my cutie husband. Um, today we're gonna do like a little vlog, I guess. I'll try to turn it into an interesting video, but basically, if you didn't see my last video, I'll link it right here. We have been slowly redoing this bathroom and the last little step is to get this nasty blue sink out of here. So we got this kit from Lowe's. I'm sure you can get it anywhere, probably even Walmart, but it's just this Homex toughest tile. It's to refinish your sinks um, and bathtubs and I think you can probably even use it on your toilets but we're gonna make this a white sink so that it looks a little bit more flawless and matches the countertop and then I got this really pretty faucet from Amazon. And In case you ever thought I was perfect just look at how full that hamper is of dirty clothes. Um, I hate doing laundry with every fiber of my being, but yeah. <laughs> and then this sink plate because our sink has three holes, so we had to get this thing. It's also from Amazon. And it was way more affordable to get this off of Amazon than to go to Lowe's because um, this like gold finish is super expensive right now because everybody wants it. So I'm going to try doing it myself. Except Austin already helped me because he took out the drain and the old faucet, which looked like this. Just to get a better idea. I should have taken a before picture, but this is what we're switching from. So it's definitely going to look a step above this because this is just not my fave. Are you excited? I am. I am. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to scrub the sink with this. I don't know why, but that's what I have to do. So after I made sure the sink was completely clean with alcohol, Austin um, continued to read me the instructions because he didn't trust me to do it myself. And as you can see, I'm completely disregarding him and watching myself dance in the mirror to Ariana Grande. Um, but really, I love him. He was just trying to be helpful. Um, so next up, you just make sure your sink is very clean and you go through this process three times. Um, I'm wiping it with liquid sandpaper. You don't have to do that, otherwise you can make it um, just clean with a Clorox wipe and then you take the steel wool sponges that come with the kit and score your sink which is basically just sanding it and you do that three times but in between each time that you use the steel wool sponge it's super important to make sure you wipe it down to get the steel wool sheddings off otherwise they will totally ruin the finish of your sink and get caught in the coating. After like a hundred steps I'm ready to put this stuff on. I have to mix it real nice. It's so hard to breathe with this on. Please maintain a wet edge when painting. The finish dries very quickly and will get sticky within one minute. Do not attempt to paint over previously painted areas. It dry, I don't know. Can you tell if I'm smiling or not? Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm nervous. You can see when she painted this black on this wall, she somehow managed to splatter it all over the shower door. No, I, <laughs> I got it on the stencil and I kept hanging the stencil there to avoid getting it on the floor. Uh, it does come off super easy. Yeah, I know. Done already? Coat number one is done. It said do not try to cover everything in coat number one. Like to not worry about it. Okay, it's a few hours later, and I put the first coat on and had to let it dry for three hours. This is what it looks like. It's super shiny, so I'm gonna put another coat on, and then we'll see if we need a third coat. It is a few days later, so I look like this because I am a mess. It's the morning. I don't know. I I tried to put in a little bit. What is in my eye? Um, 
So I tried to put in like a little bit of effort. And by a little bit, I mean I applied one coat of mascara and got annoyed. So yeah, still sipping on my coffee. Here's the update. That sink had to cure, whatever that means, for 48 hours. It is now Thursday. I started it on... What? Monday? I started on Monday night? I don't know. Started the sink that day. It had to cure, which means like after you put the second coat on, you don't touch it. Okay? Now, it looks all done. I will say, you should probably do a better job at applying it than I did. Um, I think for the second coat, I had too much on my brush because there's a couple spots where it dripped and it hardened. So there's like drips. They're hardly visible, and for the people who are going to point it out, like if they come over and look at it and they're like, your sink has like a drip, I'll be like, you need to leave. <laughs> so, like I said, with most of the stuff, actually all the stuff we've done in our house has been DIY. And I know that with time, we'll get better at doing DIY projects, and with, e with each project, you learn a little bit more. You learn about yourself, and you learn about what to do, what not to do. But it does look really good. And then, so today, I'm going to be trying to put the faucet on. Um, I have some plumber's putty, some tile and tub caulk because I want to re caulk around the sink to make it look a little more seamless and fresh because it's like starting to yellow. And I also need to put another coat of the sealant on our countertop. I need to finish this coffee beforehand because. I have a feeling this is gonna be interesting. I, I don't know if this is the kind of content that you guys like to see. I personally watch like so many DIY channels. I love them. Um, I love it so much. I've always been drawn to DIY stuff. I've always been drawn to crafts and arts and all that. I'm just a very artistic and creative person. My whole family is that way. My mom and my sister are extremely gifted and I find that when I do like little DIY projects like this table that you guys are on. Also, hello tripod. <laughs> this is what you guys have been sitting on. But this table that I did, that was like very time consuming, yes. But it was also very rewarding and I feel like when I'm doing stuff with my hands, doing these projects, I work through my thoughts and my emotions much better and it allows me to like take the time and the space to actually think through things and I just process and it's actually very therapeutic for me and Austin even agreed. He said that he feels the same way which is funny because we have a lot of goals long term in the future that have a lot to do with DIY projects. This is the sealant that I used on the sink. It's spar urethane, indoor outdoor. Um, it's not like countertop sealant it's literally just a sealant now i'm supposed to sand it with very fine sandpaper and um add a second coat and let this dry for at least two hours so i guess i'm gonna do this and then wait a while wait another two hours before i try to put that faucet back on Quite a few hours later. This isn't a daily vlog, so I don't need to explain everything that's happened, but basically I had to wait for the countertop coat to dry before I could do anything else in here, really. Um, so I'm in my workout clothes because Grace came over and we worked out. It's been a long day. I'm about to sit down and spend the rest of the evening working until Austin gets home. But the countertop is officially dry. She's looking nice and fresh and clean. I'm going to put some caulk around the edges um, of the sink and then install the faucets and stuff. I would be lying if I said that I wasn't nervous. So I'm nervous, I'm pretty nervous to do this. <laughs> It's 
important to know that I don't know what I'm doing, so I have a handy dandy Home Depot tutorial pulled up on YouTube to help me learn how to do this. Okay, so the sink faucet is attached, but now I have to turn the water on and test if it works, and I'm kind of scared. It's time for the moment of truth. Yeah! Works. I'm so proud. Okay, so when Austin gets home, I'm gonna have him look over everything and make sure that I actually did everything right and that everything looks Gucci, but it's all set up. I just wiped down the counters and I'm ready to like actually decorate the bathroom. So I just hung these. We already had these from the apartment. They were in my last office. So I figured I could put like cotton balls, Q-tips in them. Um, I need to style these two shelves that we have above the toilet. Um, and then I'm just gonna add some stuff to the counters and try to get creative with what I have here so that I don't have to buy anything because it's really not that important to me right now to have like a crazy epic decorated bathroom ready. Hi guys, it's like day 100 of bathroom remodeling, but I'm kind of finished basically. So I'll show you guys what it looks like and I'm honestly pretty happy with it. So this is what it looks like. Um, and to update you guys, these cabinets we painted with chalk paint and then I got the hardware on Amazon. Rug is Hobby Lobby. And then I painted this wall. Painted this wall, added a shower curtain and some trim, some little decor pieces that we had at our previous apartment, and then I painted the countertop. I made this little sign last night and I think it is so cute. Then I painted the sink, installed the faucet, got some little plants, and it just looks so nice, I think. <laughs> I'm literally in my pajamas and don't have makeup on so you'll have to pardon that but I am really happy with how this turned out it's just nice because this is the bathroom that everybody will use when they come over um and it looks so good so that's the big reveal if you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video and enjoyed watching me learn how to do some DIY stuff make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to join the happy soul tribe and leave a comment down below if you would like to see more home projects slash DIY videos in the future. Make sure you go out of your way today to love on someone and make them feel extra special just because they are. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.